Chandrayaan 3 mission is on track to launch to the moon on the 13th of July. On the latest coming on that front today at Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota, the encapsulated assembly containing Chandrayaan 3 has been mated with LVM3. This is the latest tweet coming in from uh, ISRO on that matter. Now, the 3,900 kilogram spacecraft was first encapsulated in the payload fairing. It was then moved to be integrated aboard the rocket. This comes in the run-up to the scheduled launch of Chandrayaan-3 mission, which is to take place on the 13th of June. And now, Indian Space Research Organization has tweeted that they have integrated the payload fairing that contains a Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft with the GSLV MK. A3. Dharini, tell us more. Uh, so we are uh, looking at a tweet uh, from ISRO in which uh, it is, uh, uh, you know, uh, told that the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Trigari Kota, uh, you know, the encapsulated assembly containing Chandrayaan-3 is mated with LVM-3. So ISRO is definitely gearing up for the launch of Chandrayaan-3 on you know, 13th July. Uh, it is expected to happen at the Satish Dhawan uh, Space Center and the final leg of the preparation is currently underway. Uh, uh, the mating of a different, uh, you know, a part of uh, the rocket there uh, that's being done uh, you know by the uh, space agency and uh, uh, very soon the countdown for the launch will also start this is definitely um, you know a, 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 a huge step for indian space sector uh, chandrayaan 3 and uh, uh, you know isro's chairperson somnath is overseeing uh, uh, all the leg of the preparations uh, you know with a close eye and uh, he'll also be uh, you know um, reaching the shigiri kota uh, you know uh, uh, the satish Dhawan space center in shigiri kota uh, you know uh, uh, two three days before the launch date to make sure everything uh, uh, has been put in place for the launch but for now, uh, today, uh, ISRO has tweeted that, I know, at the Sadish Dhawan Space Center, uh, the encapsulated assembly containing Chandrayaan-3 is mated with LVM-3, which means the final leg of the preparation, the final uh, leg of the launch pad preparation is currently being undertaken by the ISRO before uh, uh, they begin the uh, 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 countdown. Right. Uh, one uh, remembers how this ambitious mission follows the Chandrayaan-2 mission. Unfortunately, that had crash-landed on the moon the surface that was back in 2019 Dharani and which is why uh, one can rest assured that this time there will be no stones left unturned to ensure the success of this particular mission. So this mission is expected to go on from July 13, uh, you know, to uh, uh, July 19, and uh, this time, uh, ISRO chairperson Somnath has, you know, uh, told that uh, they'll be uh, able to do a soft landing on the moon. So definitely, they are expecting uh, this uh, mission to be a successful one, Chandrayaan 3, and this is what the whole nation has been looking forward to. Uh, in fact, all of us uh, were uh, keen on uh, uh, what the launch date is going to be, and it was finally told that uh, July 13 uh, would be the launch date. Uh, there was a speculation among, you know, the dates of July 12 and 13. And finally, uh, it was told that July 13 would be the final, you know, date of launch. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, the launch, as I told, will happen uh, from July 13 to July 19. It will almost take uh, six days for the mission to uh, to uh, do a full circle, to get into a you know, full circle. And as I told, uh, the ISRO chairperson has expressed a conference that this time they'll be able to do a soft landing on the moon. So that is something that we have to look forward to. And not only India, all all other space, space agencies across the world, uh, they will also be keeping a very close eye on this, uh, you know, a mission because uh, uh, this is a very big leap for India in the space sector and uh, uh, the other uh, agencies like NASA and the European Space Agency, they'll be keeping a close watch on all the steps that ISRO makes uh, throughout this launch. Hmm. India will be the only the fourth country in the world to reach that milestone is what we are being told. Uh, help us understand the significance of this mission, Darini. Well, this, this is definitely a very important mission for ISRO in, in the last, you know, one decade. Uh, the Indian Space Research or, uh, Organization has been, you know, doing a tremendous job uh, uh, both in uh, uh, the commercial, you know, side and also uh, uh, the domestic side. In fact, uh, uh, in, in the last two years alone, it has launched a lot of uh, you know, private rockets from Singapore and other countries. Uh, so uh, uh, this is uh, definitely a very big leap to restore the Chandrayaan-3. And this, in case if, uh, this mission turns out to be a success and if we are able to make a soft landing on the moon that will uh, you know uh, that will uh, mark a huge uh, you know uh, 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 mark in the history and uh, the uh, isro team is also expressed hope that
uh, moon. So this is a follow-up mission of Chandrayaan-2, and this is uh, to demonstrate end-to-end -end capability in safe landing and roving on the lunar surface. ंगलीसिकलीसिकलीसिकलीसिकलीसिकलीसिकलीसिकलीसिकलीसिकलीसिकलीसिकलीसिकलीसिकलीसिकलीसिकलीसिकलीसिकलीसिकलीसिकली